In 1883, John Roebling, a creative engineer, was inspired by an idea to build a spectacular bridge. The idea was connecting New York with the Long Island. But the bridge experts throughout the world said it's not possible. Some said it could not be done. Others said it is never done before. And there were so many negative thoughts. But Roebling's son, Washington, inspired by this idea and said to his father, yes, we can do it. And both of them decided to work on it. Roebling could not ignore the vision he had in his mind and this bridge. Therefore, he and his son designed the plan. And one day they started to work on it. They hired their crew and began to build their dream bridge. Unfortunately, one day a tragic accident took place at the site and John Roebling died. His son heavily injured. He was not able to walk, talk and even to move. But still he was inspired with the idea. When he was hospitalized, he and his wife developed a coded language. He was never discouraged in spite of handicap. Washington started telling his wife in a coded language and his wife decoded it for the engineers. In 13 years, they constructed the bridge. Today, a spectacular Brooklyn bridge stands in all its glory as a tribute to the triumph of one man's indomitable spirit and his determination. Brooklyn Bridge is a tribute to two engineers and their teamwork. Brooklyn Bridge is a tangible monument to the love and devotion of his wife, who for 13 long years patiently decoded the messages of her husband and told the engineers what to do. It is an example of never say die attitude. I salute to John Roebling who thought of this mission. I salute Washington Roebling who accomplished his father's dream and I salute Emily Warren Roebling whose patience of 13 years brought this monument.